I have owned a couple of microwaves in my days, but not once have I used one to actually heat food. Most, like this one, were bought broken, because I'm only interested in the high voltage transformer anyway. There are a lot of interesting and dangerous applications for that component. Today I'll make the good old spot welder. That has been done so many times on YouTube, but never without a microcontroller timer, I believe. First, the secondary windings have to go. If you can afford to sacrifice an old woodworking chisel to this task, then that's the way to go. It's so much quicker and cleaner than the angle grinder I tried before. Now I drive the old secondary windings out to make room for my own. Doing that, I put a little nick in the primary coil. If I'm lucky, that shorted out two adjacent windings. If I'm not, it shorted out the first and the last winding. Usually I'm not, so I'd better use industry standard precautions when turning it on for the first time. Whew. All right, three windings of 10 square millimeter cable should give us more than enough current for a spot welder. I mean, literally. Like this, it'll just blast holes right through the material. So we need something to turn it on for a short time, repeatably. People usually use a relay module and an Arduino as a timer, but I'm in a bit of a shortage at the moment, so I came up with something else. I'll use a single pole double throw momentary switch to charge one of five capacitors that is selectable with a rotary switch. When the momentary switch is pressed, the capacitor discharges through the relay module and activates it. By selecting different capacitor sizes, we can adjust the time the welding transformer is energized. Theoretically. And practically. In terms of enclosures, I have no shortage at all. The crane remote control is as tempting as it always is, but I think I'll go for the plug pack style today. Well, I'm not going to bore you with my clumsy handiwork. Instead, I'll give you a demo of this perfectly working spot welder. This is just tinned sheet metal. I don't have those pure nickel strips yet that are best for battery packs. But battery packs are what I made this for primarily. Any guesses about the upcoming project? <laughs> 